Hello friends, I welcome you to my channel Excel Graphics and Multimedia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can get realistic water drop in Corel Draw. If you are watching my video for the first time on YouTube, please remember to hit subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out video whenever I upload tutorial on my channel. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back viewers. So the first thing I'm going to do in this tutorial is to bring in my background of the water drop. So all you have to do is to go to your menu bar, click on this icon, or you press Ctrl I on your keyboard. So the dialog box is going to pop up. So then from here, I'm going to choose this particular background. Then you click on import. So at this point now, I'm going to drag and drop my background. All right, so that's the background I use. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go to my tools bar and grab my eclipse or circle. So having grabbed your circle, so the next thing you have to do is to draw your circle from Corel. All right. So your water drop with the size of the circle will determine the size of your water drop. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go back to my tools bar and grab my smear tools. My smear tools. Then come back to the shape here. Then you can just drag it out. Depends on how you want your water drop effect. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to duplicate this particular circle by go to my menu bar, click on edit, and click on copy. Then go back to edit again, click on paste. All right. So at this point now, the duplicate one just have to drag it to one side, something like this. Then we can fill it with white color, as the case may be. Good. So the next thing to do now is to go back to the original circle. So having go to the original circle, then go to your tools bar, select your interactive fill. Then having select your interactive fill, then you come to the shape and fill it with interactive. Okay, so at this point now, the next thing you have to do is to go to color palette here, right click on this icon to remove the stroke. So the next thing to do now is to go back to your tools bar, then select transparent tools. Having select transparent tools, then go to the menu bar from the transparent tools, select overlay. So at this point now, this is what you are going to get. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go back to this duplicate one, then go to your tools bar and select drop shadow. So having select drop shadow, then you come here and apply your drop shadow. Good. So at this point now, the next thing we are going to do, let me zoom out the entire document and see our drop shadow. Okay. So the next thing you have to do now is to break up, break apart the drop shadow. Like right click on the drop shadow, then select break shadow, break drop shadow group apart. Good. And the next thing you have to do is to click on the white. Then having click on the white, press down the shift key on your keyboard, click on the drop shadow. Then after that, the next thing you have to do now is to go to your 
toolbar, I mean, go to your menu bar, then from this point here, make sure you select trim. Good. At this point now, the next thing I'm going to do is to drag this drop shadow. Drag this drop shadow and put it on the on the water water drop. Good. You're going to have something like this. So the next thing we are going to do now is to delete this one. So the next thing we have to do now is to go back to our tools bar, then select your circle. So having selected your circle, then you can draw this very small circle over the realistic water drop. Then now you fill it with white, right? So the next thing you can do here is to fill this with your interactive. Go back to your toolbar and select your interactive, then fill it with. Then make sure the transparent is 100%. Then the next thing you have to do is to go to your color palette, remove the stroke. So at this point now, the next thing we can do here is to select all everything like this so having select everything then go to your menu bar, menu bar click on group so at this point now press ctrl c on your keyboard then ctrl v on your keyboard to paste so you can see from the screen now that we have our realistic water drop in corel so the next thing i'm going to do is to select everything like this then click on group So the next thing we can do now is to duplicate the water drop by go to edit, click on copy, then go back to edit again, click on place. Now this duplicate one, we can drag it out, then we'll resize it. So we can rotate. Okay, Control D, so duplicate again. So we can rotate again, and uh, we can resize. Control D to duplicate again. Control D. Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. So we can group everything like this. Ctrl D. Then we can rotate and drag this one here. So this is how you get a realistic water drop in Corel Draw. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like button and also remember to subscribe for more interesting video. Thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end. See you soon. Bye.